Hey you guys, it's a Thrifty Southerner. Uh, normally I'd be saying back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul, as it is Thursday, but you guys, I have nothing. I have two little piddly things that I found at a thrift store here in town. I, I'd i say the past mm, six to eight weeks, I've had to go out of town every week to find anything. I've talked to you guys about how horrible my thrift stores are here, how everything at the Goodwills go to um, online stuff. And now we had a Salvation Army, which closed last October. And then we had uh, a Mission Thrift that just closed. So we're down to like four Goodwills and like two other thrift stores in my entire city, which is quite large. Um, so, anyway, I didn't get a chance to go out of town this weekend, so I just don't have anything. Uh, garage sales aren't back in swing yet, although there are a couple scheduled for this weekend, but it's also supposed to rain. So hopefully I'll get some stuff at some garage sales this week, and I'm also planning on going out of town. So, I'm sorry about that, but I thought so that I could still get a video up since it is time, I'd go ahead and do my These Bags Need a Home February edition. So before I get started, if you're interested in any of these items, you may join my Facebook group. I will link it down below and it is a closed group you'll have to ask to join. I will approve you and then you may um, let me know that you would like an item. Uh, when you give me your email, which is what I need to send you a PayPal invoice, I also need your state for shipping. And I've said this in my last video, if you are in California, um, if you're in California, Oregon, Washington State, any of those areas on the West Coast, shipping is gonna be $14 for a decent sized purse. Uh, it used to be $13.65 and flat rate's gone up to 14 something, so I'm just cap it at 14. Um, if you live in another area, it's gonna be like 10 to 12, depending on where you are and how much the purse weighs. But please give me that state so that I may figure shipping. And until you've given me your email address and said that you would like that item, someone else can still get it. So if you ask me about shipping or anything like that and someone else gives me their email address, they will get that item. I just wanna make that very clear so no one gets upset. Okay, let's get started. I will refer to these items by a number and a manufacturer name. When you reference these items on my group, Please, please, please do that so we don't have any miscommunications and I send you the wrong purse. Okay, if you're not a Facebooker, you can also email me and I will leave that in the description box below. All right, but really, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm starting off with $10 bags. Number one, and I showed these very briefly because I've shown them in, in previous videos before, so this is a little Orla Kylie. It could be a makeup bag. It could be a little wristlet, whatever you want to do with it. So that is number one, Orla Kylie, $10. Number two is this beautiful pink mini juicy. It is leather. It is an older item that is extremely high quality. Juicy, heavy brass rings. Brass back here. Really, really nice. So that is number two, juicy, and it's also 10. Three is this vintage Brighton bag. Really, really pretty. In case you don't know, Brighton is silver plated. And if it's tarnished, all you have to do is use a little bit of silver polish. So that is number three, vintage Brighton, and it is also 10. Number four is this adorable leather red Chico's bag. It's got some flowers on it. Braided basket weave, cool handles, nice tote. So that is number five, Chico's, also 10. And the last item that is $10 is this really, really cute Dooney and Burke. It does need a good wash, but if I wash it, I'm going to charge more for it. So I'm gonna sell it as is for 10. And it just needs a little um, oxy and a scrub brush. It's just 
dirty, but it's beautiful. Very classic. All right, so that's number five, Dooney. Moving along to the $15 items. This is number six. It is a really super cute Brighton crossbody. It's navy blue. It's got the little Brighton hearts on both sides with the scroll work. Really cute little Brighton symbols on the inside. It is in excellent, excellent condition. I don't see any wear on it. I know it's been used because I actually found some personal information in here and I had to ship it back to the person that left it in there. And uh, so I know it's been used, but it really looks brand new. So again, that's number six, Brighton, $15. Number seven is this Kavu sling bag. Super cute. I've sold several of these. They usually sell really well. I've yet to post this on Poshmark. Um, it does have a little schmutz right here. It just needs to be wiped off with a wet rag, which I can do before I ship it out. It's in great condition, minimal to nowhere. I mean, again, I, I think it's been used because it does have a little bit of dirt on the front, but maybe once or twice. So that's number seven, Kavu, $15. The next one, this little guy was in last week's haul. It is coated canvas, fossil, crossbody. It is number eight. It is 15 as well. It's not closure. Inside pocket, and then you've also got an outside back pocket. Again, that's number, again, that's number eight, fossil, $15. Mine is this beautiful vegan leather Vince Commuto tote. Comes with its own dust bag. Here it is. It's brand new, never been used. There's the little Vince Camuto signature inside. It's got a little pocket. So that is number nine, Vince Camuto, and it's also 15. Moving on to the $20 bags. Number 10 is this Kipling. It is so cute. It's a little mini satchel, adorbsable. Here's your crossbody strap. You've got a little front zip pocket little back pocket and on the inside you've got a bunch of little pockets it's super duper cute again number 10 Kipling number 11 also 20 is this Paolo Mossi this is an extremely expensive manufacturer of handmade bags from Italy these flowers are a masterpiece in and of themselves I don't know if I can show you they are like Especially this rose is just beautiful. It's got like a glossy coating on it. They are in excellent condition, this bag. Perfect for spring. It's number 11, Paolo Mossi for the peach bag. Number 12 is also 20. It is in Michael Kors Hamilton from my last haul. It does have a few wear issues as far as just there are some um, color variations on the leather. Actually, not that bad. There's a couple of little spill marks here. And then I thought there were a couple over here. They're really hard to see. Um, glazing is all intact. It's really a beautiful purse. Great buy if you've always wanted one of these and never been able to get one. There's a little bit of wear about on the glazing under here. Um, you could easily fix that with some edge coating or just snip those little threads. There's nothing wrong with it. And then the inside does have a couple of, uh, like pen marks and stuff, but nothing too bad. And it's a great buy for $20. So that is number 12. My course is $20. Number 13 is this adorable coach crossbody that I showed in my last haul. Beautiful shades of orange, great for spring and summer. Here's your coach tag. It does have a pin mark on it, which I have tried to get off and it uh, won't come off, but it is on the backhand side. So when you're wearing it, no one's ever gonna see that because it's a crossbody, lays against your body. Two front zippers, back pocket, and in here. And that is number 13 coach and it's also 20. Here we're gonna skip up to $30 bags. And I have two of those. 
Number 14 is also this beautiful orange. Elliot Luca, newest tag, originally $88. Nothing at all wrong with it. Perfect condition. Two little front zips. Cute little chain braided strap. Elliot Luca, still got a little black interior. Really, really cute. Basket weave embossed here. Again, that is number 14, that is 30. Number 15 is also 30. This is an all you need. I also showed this in my last haul. It is convertible and it is by Amy Kestenberg. The original Nordstrom tag says 165.90 on it, but it looks like it was handwritten, so I don't know if that was the sale price or not. It is beautiful. Glove leather, super soft, really unique. Sling, or you could wear it as a crossbody, I guess. It said it was a convertible when I looked it up on Nordstrom, but it didn't show any pictures of how to convert it. So, um, here's the inside. Again, it's new with tag. There were a couple of black marks on it that I mostly was able to scrape off, but there were a couple that wouldn't come off right there. They're very tiny. It was like something, like some kind of sticker, and it is on the back side, I believe. It's on the side. So, it also has a side zipper. It's very, very unique. Really nice, really pretty bag. So, that is Amy Kestenberg, number 15, and that is, again, $30. Moving on to number 16. It is $35. It is this gorgeous Elliot Luca bucket bag. It doesn't have the tag, but you guys, it looks to never have been used. Maybe one time. I mean, I see no signs of wear other than maybe a slight. So maybe it's been used a couple of times. There's like a couple of areas where there's just, uh, I mean, you have to look really closely, a little bit of lightning on that metallic so maybe it was used once or twice and sat down but it is in excellent condition here is your long strap which can be unclipped here's your super cute braided handle carry it like that it's like a bronzy it's like in, yeah in between a gold and a silver it's like a bronze really beautiful here's your interior Elliot Luca so again, that is number 16, Elliot Luca, and it's 35. Number 17, I am shocked that I still have because it is so gorgeous. It is this Badgley Mishka. I guess a lot of people don't have any use for an evening bag. Um, maybe you don't, you know, just don't don't use evening bags. I don't really. I mean, I don't, I don't, don't I'm not fancy. So, but if you do, it's beautiful. It is brand new with tag, originally $195, Badgley Mishka. It is the Little Melanie in Sapphire. It's a beautiful gray blue. I showed this in detail in several videos. And I think it's very unique because it's a crossbody, which I think is cool because <sighs> wristlets are great, but you have to hold them the whole time. There's the interior. So again, that's number 17, Vajli Mishka, and it is $45, which is a steal. Also comes with its own dust bath. Also crazy surprise, I still have this one. This is number 18, Kate Spade. It is 50, it is brand new, with tag, originally $298, it's a Selena. And it's beautiful, it's a purple crossbody. There are a couple of scratches on the Kate Spade logo. Again, I think that's just because it didn't come with a dust bag and it just has been hanging around. Um, I got these at an estate sale from someone who obviously was a reseller and so I think she just had it for a little bit too long. And here is your Kate Spade symbol. It's still got all the wrapping in it. So again, that's number 18, $50, Kate Spade. And last but certainly not least, we have number 19, which is a Cole Haan. It is $70, it is new with tag. Here's your beautiful dust bag. This is a gorgeous crossbody bag, so unique. It is a dark navy blue. Originally, it was 
It's the Davenport Mini Crossbody. And it is stunning because I think it's stunning. It's got like a a uh, patent leather, but it's like a little textured patent leather and then a suede stripe. And then you've got this beautiful glove leather. Here is your crossbody strap. And I think it's really, really unique and very pretty. And here's the inside. Again, that's number 19 and that's 70. Okay, you guys. Uh, again, I hope to have Thrifty Thursday haul next week. It is slim pickings in my town when there's no garage sales. So, and it's getting worse, which is really discouraging. Um, but I'm still here to find deals for you guys. So, if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up because it really, really helps. And if you are new to this channel and you are not subscribed and you loved this video or like any of my other videos, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. All right, you guys, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.